Hi, I'm Cass, and this is Honey. I'm a regular Canadian's enjoying weed, and we're here with Cindy, who we met at the Mary Jane Brunch, who runs the Mary Jane Brunch, and like a million other things. Yes, because I'm a like, crazy little person who just has to. She's a hustler. Juggle. She's a hustler. Uh, a hustler. I'm supposed to go see Hustler tonight too. So oh, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's really fun. It's fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I started a production company called uh, Can We Die? And really there we explore from the female perspective of their cannabis journey. We want to be the home and garden of cannabis. So that's the kind of shows that I want to do. And uh, we created, you know, these monthly events called the Mary Jane Brunch, which is where you get to come and interact and engage with amazing people in the community. And one of these lucky beavers got to meet Cindy. <laughs> It was, yeah, it's perfect, mm -hmm. exactly. A perfect event to bring these two beavers now with this beaver. Yeah, exactly. touch your beaver. <laughs> touch the beeves. I'm touching a beaver. Beaver. Oh. It's <laughs> full, it's full, okay. I am. I, I, I you know what? Uh -huh. There's something very nice about wearing like a faux fur vest. You know, you just feel mm -hmm. real Canadian. Mm -hmm. um, okay, but here we are, smoking a joint, avoiding cake. Uh, it's a beautiful Vancouver day. Um, and then we will gravitate inside where we can, people can hear us better. Here in Ogden, it's just all come full this circle. Faux oh, beaver pelts. Oh. Mm. Right. Do you mm. want to try this? I feel like we're going to see how, like, you know, if, if it works, then you know that when you go out yeah, and you try see it. that, <laughs> then yes. <laughs> we were discussing how, you know, <laughs> I haven't really worn many fur vests, well. and it seems like a real power move. <laughs> like, that is a powerful, oh my god, wow. Oh. Here, I'm gonna move this one for a little bit of. Big colony. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Seriously, this is like such a grand thing. If you're wearing this vest, <laughs> this is like the new smoking jacket. The beaver vest is the new smoking jacket. You have like then a Cruella Deville smoking stick and a pocket full of dubs. I want one. Or like a crystal bong. I, I can I see it all. Pockets. Yes, it's oh, oh, all functional too. Oh. <laughs> love, love, love. For a, a busy beaver thing. And I met. The Beavers at a Mary Jane brunch. <laughs> so, in, on 420, I, wasn't it? 420. You guys came on a very, and Less it's very day. interesting. It's very interesting because what we were doing was almost a uh, the opposite of what everyone was doing on 420, mm -hmm. which was, was really to cool to really like we brought the only thing that was similar was that we brought community out. Mm -hmm. We came together, but my approach to 420. And it's, this is not the same with all the other Mary Jane brunch. We, with each one, I do something a little different. And it's basically just to kind of test out new things, but also the goal with the Mary Jane brunch was that it was going to get a lot more, more intimate in terms of the conversations and, and sometimes even hard conversations. Um, I'll start first with the very first Mary Jane brunch we did. It was about sex and cannabis. Now that's fun. People are curious. They're interested. They're open. There's not really that... A lot definitely of um, interested. People are very interested. In yeah. That. Yes. <laughs> and so we want to. We definitely we're bringing it back again. Um, but it was meant to be approachable. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so we did it. And it was quite successful. And then the next one we did was on. It, it was actually my tester for the event that I had done with Fan Startup Week, which was to see what it was like to. Um, be a woman startup in the cannabis space, what that looked like. And and again, I had amazing women that came out for that, ones that were creating um, mentorships and programs to help support uh, both men and women, um, to another one who, you know, she's, she like started a magazine, was a mom, and had challenges with being seen as like that mom at the park was on her joints, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, and so there was a lot, like I'm sitting back and I think about, there's a lot more dialogue that we need here. Mm -hmm. And, and that's also how the web series, it was supposed to support the web series. Um, as we had these events, we could drop and talk about this web series mm -hmm. where we wanted to reach out to different women um, who want to sit around a table, you know, dine together and have these kinds of discussion. So very much, um, just what we would do when we hang out with other, you know, with our girlfriends. Yeah, just it, to, to capture that moment, you're gonna get like a bunch of women coming at you. I'm just kidding. A bunch um, of beavers. <laughs> you should be so and, lucky. Uh, and so, 
you know, in doing that and these events, it allowed for the women that I was filming an opportunity to also have another platform through these panels. And this community that I'm really catering this to is like the kind of curious, those that are, are very much new to this, or also those, the ones that are closeted. Mm -hmm. Because I think there's a lot of great events out there and more great events coming for those that are celebrating their consumption, their yes. in the cannabis community. And I think it's thriving and I love it, but there's still a lot of people who can't. Yeah. And, right. and that's really, when I designed the Marriage and Brunch, that's who it's talking to. Mm -hmm. It's those ones where, you know, I still know a lot of people, and, and I even have a preference too, where uh, my cannabis use is, is a personal thing. I like doing it at home. I like in the comfort of my environment and, and that kind of control. I can't always say that I would do it out in social just because I don't know how I can manage myself in public. Yeah. And I think a lot of um, you know the men and women that I had spoken to, there was that there was also the, their profession and it yeah. sprung up all these topics and this is what I've been filming and I still have quite a, a lot more filming to do where we touch upon coming out of the cannabis closet especially when you're from um, like I'm Asian it's it's very much like seen so bad in our culture yeah my parents are like oh my god she's a criminal <laughs> oh no i i don't share that story you you are are you know. <laughs> my mother and i she's she's special she's very special but um this you know so all these things that i designed was to tackle topics but we would start to get deeper we would start to get into things as because it was a space where um i know too that the closeted consumer aren't really going to come out to. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that I need to reach from the comfort of their own home. Yeah. And why the web series exists is really for them. Um, but at the same time, what I found through the Mary Jane Brunch was I got to meet other amazing people. Yeah. Like just like the love yeah. in this space is incredible. And, uh, and then for those that were in the community, they got a, a place to come together and feel supported and know that like our events, yes, they, we, we don't consume on site. But it doesn't mean that I haven't brought together people who have found new friends and and can spend time to have sesh together. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a lot of opportunities that now as I kind of build this community, more and more of them come out and eventually they bring out those people that may not be like a hard no, but it's just curious. Yeah. Right? Just want to see what's up mm -hmm. with this new found mm -hmm. fangled cannabis. Yeah, what's that thing? And and I mean, in the back of my mind, my mom is kind of one of them. I just, mm -hmm. it's, you know, 10 months ago, she thought I was doomed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> That's and, it. Your life is over. You've uh, ruined it. Yeah, you've ruined it. She's, it's, it's like, so this is how um, they scale it. Put it in the bin. I, before, <laughs> you know, before this, I was a baker for six years. Um, before I was a baker, I was a banker. Like, I just... You know, I oh, I live this. Storybook. Yeah, and, and so and it's like to me, like, I'm yeah. like maker, maker, baker. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, just blaze in. Makeup. And my mom is I like pop makeup, baker, baker. Whoa. What? Chris, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. Lower, lower, yeah. lower. <laughs> it's just it's it's like she's the, so we we both have such different perceptions. But every month that has passed by. Um, I, what I've learned is that she's just concerned. You know, the other day, my mom sees me again, just moving along, and she starts to ask me more questions that are, again, they're, they're abrasive, but that means she's asking, that means she's curious, that means fingers crossed, she's October 19th, you know, Moms in the Garden, that's the next Mary Jane brunch. It is talking about mothers at different stages of their life and that being out about cannabis or you know having that discussion we're gonna have it it's gonna be at Havana uh -huh. um, and fingers crossed my mom will come to it oh, you know I someone been had so messaged me on um, Facebook saying it's like so great all this activist work you're doing I'm like what like I didn't realize it because I just do I like to do it I think what I'm doing it 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 feeds me in a place where um, it's I'm educating myself every day I'm getting informed mm -hmm. right and at the same time I'm lifting other people up.
you know? Well, that definitely, and thank you so much for coming and yeah. visiting us and spreading your knowledge, and we'll definitely be checking out your future events. Yes, definitely. And thank you, know, you so much, Ken. Beavis are always watching. welcome. <laughs> Beavis are welcome. You heard it here first. Um, we'll be there, and yay, everybody. Be sure to check her out. And all, I, I, I could literally can't keep track of all the things. We're going to put a rolling list yeah. of all the amazing projects and you're going to check them all out. And check yes. out this brilliant exactly. entrepreneur out exactly. there hustling in the big bad cannabis Chandle. world. Chandle. <laughs> um, and thanks for watching. Remember to enjoy responsibly. And don't drive high. My, Such a crotchety old lady. My best girlfriend looks at me, she's like, you are really a hundred year old man. <laughs> You know, like this, she, she likes to say That's her best that, friend's report, <laughs> keep you in check. <laughs> she, she likes to think that I'm like the Asian version of like a Daddy DeVito, just like old <laughs> and crabby, <laughs> crabby around, <laughs> uh, and, I, and I love her, so. <laughs>